shop guys for another shop go ventures episode today we are going to build a circle cutting guide for my plasma cutter a hypotherm 45 xp and the nozzle is one inch in diameter so if yours is also one inch in diameter this will work for yours these can be expensive. I've seen them up to $300 before. And the ones that are cheap, like $50, they're cheap. Don't really like the way they're built. So what I did was I did what we all do. I went online, I looked at other people's projects, tried to get some ideas. Somebody out there has got to be smart and make one that's really strong and heavy duty and I found one tipsandtricks.com forum right there are some pictures and the link down below I found a guy his name was Glenn he posted some pictures I was like wow beautiful that's the one I want to build it's built overkill it's strong it's durable I like it he left in his description on the forum the list of all the required parts. So it cost him $50 on McMaster car, US dollars. I'm Canadian, so I expected to pay a billion dollars, but my local supplier actually had it for me for also $50. So let's zoom in here, take a look. I'll walk you through the parts. We're going to build it together. Okay, let's quickly go through our lineup of parts. We have two magnets there. We only need one. I'll talk about that later. We have the oil light bushing, our roller bearing. We have four shaft collars and a needle roller bearing. And don't want to forget the quarter inch round bar. The reason why I have a two inch magnet here is because the bushing doesn't fit over the spigot or whatever you want to call that on the large magnet. <clears throat> it could be because I, act, I got the wrong one um, through my hardware store, but it does fit over the two inch perfectly. And so that's nice. This whole project is more of an assembly than anything. There's very little welding actually involved. So I'll walk you through the assembly very quickly here. The oil light bushing gets pressed into the roller bearing and that goes over the spigot there and gets held in place with a four millimeter screw and washer. With the shaft collars, the black oxide needs to be cleaned up in order to weld the smaller shaft collars to them. And I will be TIG welding that. The needle roller bearing fits inside the larger shaft collar and that is exactly what our torch head or nozzle goes into and it spins really smooth it's awesome so let's get started Small shaft collars are now welded to our large shaft collars. 
So let's start assembling, shall we? So these guys are done. The needle roller bearing just slides inside our large collar. That may actually sit lower. We'll figure that out later with our torch height deal. Now that we're finished with the shaft collars, let's talk about the magnet and how we are going to line up the center of the magnet with our center of the circle that we want to cut. So normally you would have a center punched hole in your plate in the center. And ideally we could have a pin go through here, kind of like a spring loaded pin, the little sharp point on it. And we can locate that center punch mark on our plate and just drop it on and we're good to go. But this uh, style will be a little bit different. What we'll do is we'll establish our crosshairs on the magnet itself, right? And I'm gonna center punch some marks on there so I know where those crosshairs are. And I'll establish the crosshairs on the center of my plate from the center punch mark. And we just line up the cutting guide like that. Obviously the spring loaded center is a, is a really cool idea and I'd like to do that. Um, I kind of thought of it in the middle of the project. So, but I'm gonna stick with the original design here for now. We'll make an, I'll do another video another time for that. So. I should have known this was going to happen. So that was foolish. Don't, uh, magnets are very hard. So don't try to punch them. Stupid idea. We'll do it differently. And I am very sorry you had to witness that foolishness. That is much better. Zip some grooves. Groove zipping. Groovy. Zippy groove. Zippy groove, dude. quick little review of the circle cutter. Um, I think that because my torch is a drag style tip, it was a little it was a little rough 
dragging it. I could have probably taken a wire wheel. Am I yelling? Am I yelling? I could have taken a wire wheel and cleaned off the roughness of this and it could have probably cut a lot better um, or smoother. Um, having said that, you can get the nozzles for lifting cut, hand, handheld cut, whatever you want to call it, just opposite of drag. Um, that's it. There we go. Circle cutter, it works. I'd like to modify the uh, center of the magnet to have a spring-loaded pin or something for centering on your plate with the center punch mark, but we'll save that for another video, another project. Thanks for tuning in, and see you next time. <laughs>